So we're gonna learn SI bowl. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sai Sai bowl. Sai bowl. I don't know. It's the the fruit fruit thing. Before we start, you have to make sure your guitar is tuned to uh, drop D. So that means you're not tuned in E A D G B E. It's D A D uh, G B E. So uh, dad. Uh, GBE. And if you don't know how to do that, you can just get an uh, app tuner and it should have different uh, tunings you can pick from. So Dominic uh, flips between using a pick and his fingers. I think um, just the way it sounds, I figure he did. Uh, I can't really see a pick in any of the videos, but uh, I'm going to use one because for some of the parts, it just sounds sounds better. So uh, we're going to start with the intro, I'll play it real quick. Something like that. So uh, you don't need a pick for this part, way better with the fingers, you can see Dominic using his thumb when he's playing and he uses his pointer. So uh, it's fairly simple. Use this shape here with your pointer on the fifth string, ninth fret, and your pinky or ring finger. It's up to you, depending on the size of your hands, on um, the third string, eleventh uh, fret. And uh, without playing uh, open D string, it would sound like this, which is kind of boring. So what Dominic did was he tuned his guitar and dropped D and now he's playing the, the open D string along with that um, fifth string ninth fret it's just like that playing both strings um, and then you're just going back and forth so you're not going to hit that uh, open D on every uh, motion here you're just going to hit it on the first strum of every shape so for this shape Play it, but then when you come back, you just play that uh, fifth string. So like this. Then when you move up to this next shape, which is the same thing, you're just sliding uh, down the neck, down to the seventh fret and the ninth fret, staying on the same strings. So on the first one, you're playing that open D with the fifth string, as well as your third string and then the same thing uh, you'll notice that you're following the dotted frets which makes it really easy to figure out where you're going so just like this you start off the dotted frets then you move up or down sorry and then you move again to the fifth and the seventh That's the first little bit there, and then you slide back down to here, tenth and the twelfth now. So you're gonna play that open sixth string, the D string, with your fifth string on every one now. Then you slide down the neck one, back to your original position, just like this. Then follow the dotted fret, so seven or sorry, nine and seven, seven and five, and then there's one more after that I'll show you. So here. And then you notice that there's no more dots to follow, so you just let go of your pointer, slide it up to the second fret of the third string. Just right there. Let's see it all together. first part we learned and then we slid down here and then you play that one a few times and then you're gonna do that same as the last you're gonna come back down here and then you're gonna stop there play your um, third string this finger this finger is gonna come up to the fifth fret of the first string so right here 
This is kind of just his transition to the uh, chorus here. So I'll show you one more time. Just like that. You're just going back and forth from the first string and the third string. And if you don't have big hands, you can just, you can just go back and forth. Um, but those are the two strings. And then we're on to the chorus. So the chorus is pretty simple as well. So these chords that he's playing super easy and he's only playing two strings. Your, your D string and your A string here, or your fifth and your sixth string. So here's the chorus. as easy as it sounds place one finger on the fifth string on the ninth fret your other finger there's a million ways you can do this this is how I'm doing it um, so you just want to mute the rest of the strings so just lay a finger on top of them you can do it this way I'm using my pointer and I'm resting it on top of these strings and uh, playing uh, pushing down with my ring here and then leaving the, the six open. So that D string stays open, and you'll notice he really aggressively hits those strings. Uh, if you also notice, I'm using a pick for this part. It works a lot better. It sounds a lot uh, more accurate when you use a pick at this part. So uh, resting those fingers. If you left your finger off, you'd have to be really accurate trying not to hit those strings. So uh, keep that finger rested. You can also do it this way. Placing your pointer there and then resting, uh, resting it just like this, which is probably way easier. If you notice, I'm just pushing down on that uh, fifth string and then I'm resting it on top of the rest. Middle finger pressing down on the tenth fret of the fifth and your pointer finger on that D string on the ninth. And then what you want to do is rest that uh, pointer finger across the other strings, muting them, same kind of deal. So I'm just pushing down hard on this one, resting on top of those ones. And this one's pressing down hard on the fifth. All right, so those are the two shapes. I'm gonna go over the strum pattern real quick. Uh, just a quick note. I don't know if this is perfect to the exact strum pattern, but it sounds close enough. So I haven't really thought this through fully, but um, I'm just going to put it uh, on screen right here for you because I don't, uh, I'll do it for you. So now that we got that out the way, that is the chorus, and you'll come back to that a few times during the song. Uh, I'm obviously not gonna sing for you. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll save that for the car. If you want, I'll probably put a link in the description to uh, Dominic's uh, live in Paris, and I think he has one more where he is playing acoustic for this song. So after you play the chorus, you can drop your pick uh, or keep it if you're a pick player. I'm uh, personally a fingerstyle picker. Um, I play with my fingers a lot. Um, this next part is a little tricky. Dominic plays with these three fingers instead of barring. Some people like to bar. I know I do. Barring across. But um, you can definitely start like this. If you want to play it just like Dominic Fike, then you can, uh, you can definitely play it like this. Three fingers across on the seventh fret of the second, third, and fourth string. And then you're going to put your pointer finger up on the 5th fret of the 5th string. Easy to remember. So uh, here is the part. I'll play it for you real quick. And then it repeats. Alright, uh, as you noticed, some of my strings were a little muted. I'm not very good at this. I don't know how to play guitar. The finger pattern is 
Uh, so you're going to start with the fifth string using your thumb. And then you're going to go to the third and then the second. So fifth, third, second. So once you get that, so then it's third, fourth, third. So fifth, third, second, third, fourth, third. Now playing that. Um, so the next shape after this is uh, easy. All you have to do is move your pointer uh, up a string. So you're going to the sixth string, the D string, and you're uh, it's fifth string. I mean, sorry, fifth fret of the sixth string. So just like that, and then you're still playing those same same three strings, the second, third, and fourth, with the same finger pattern. But instead of hitting the fifth to start, you're hitting that D string. play that a couple times and then you move that finger this is where it's a stretch this is where I tend to bar because it's a lot easier um, your pointer has to go up to the fourth fret of the D string and it is hard my fingers just barely on there so this is where I like to use my pinkies bar there it's pretty simple to do and then you slide back down to that fifth fret sixth string so however many times you do each of those I'm not gonna go over it'd be a lot easier if uh, if I could use the lyrics but I'll probably get like copyright or something if I throw them in so uh, I'm not going to so these are the shapes that's how you do them if you want to figure out how many times and all that kind of garbage then you can go uh, watch Watch Dominic Fike play it and you'll know all the shapes. After that, we go straight back into the chorus. Same thing, you know. Whatever. Play through the chorus and then you're going to wind up in the next kind of verse, uh, which is really similar to the last verse we played. It just sounds like this. I'm using a really similar shape here on the uh, seventh and fifth fret, uh, just like this one we played in the last. Um, but uh, we don't need this finger, so it makes it a lot easier, makes the stretch easier. You don't have to bar or anything. Um, having this finger free leaves uh, a lot more flexibility. So you start with your pinky on the seventh fret of the second string. Uh, your ring finger on the seventh fret of the third string and then your pointer is going to go on the fifth fret of the fifth string uh, just like we did before and your thumb is going to play that uh, fifth string and then you're going to play both of these strings together your second and third back and forth and then your pointer is going to move over just like we did before to the uh, D string and it's going to uh, be on the fifth fret and you're playing those same two strings you play those same two strings all the way through and then you're gonna go to the fourth um, fourth fret here and then back down to the fifth or up So you can just go through that. Um, he plays it in that order, like this. Up, down. And he has some pauses like that. He also, uh, on one of them, I'm pretty sure he plays this over two bars. He doesn't go to the fourth fret of the fifth um, but if you want to know kind of that order just go watch the video you know the shape you know the 
uh, the technicalities of it. So just figure it out, man. Dominic ends this by going uh, back down to our, one of our chorus shapes. Uh, the the second shape in our chorus shape. It's the uh, ninth fret and the uh, tenth fret. And then he moves up to a shape similar to our first shape in our chorus, except instead of having an open D string, he closes it up by uh, putting his pointer down on the, the seventh. So the seventh fret of the uh, D string. So he plays it just like this. like a fancy chuck whatever that doesn't really matter you can do whatever you want play with it um, and now we're on to the rap uh, verse here this is probably the trickiest part of this whole whole song here uh, so you got to do a lot of muting and we will be using a pick um, so the exact same shape you're using before in the last uh, verse we did the last melody uh, the same as this one but this time you gotta mute some strings so you can use your thumb kind of wrap around and uh, just touch the string so it's muted uh, there's a lot of ways you can do this uh, another way is to use your pointer just have it kind of touching there that sounds a little dirtier though I, I prefer the thumb just wrapping around and uh, you also need to mute this string here which you can do by either using your pointer finger and leaning back with it. You can like lay kind of across. Um, but it's harder to lay across when you have your thumb up. I'm going to go over what this sounds like. strings you're trying to pluck here uh, on your way down you just want to try and hit that second string then when you come back you're coming up on the second and the third string so like this try and hit both of those you don't want to hit that third one though or the fourth string sorry you want to hit the second string and the third string now you're going to move this pointer onto the uh, D string, lay your pointer across so you're muting the rest of the strings, making sure these fingers are staying tight on the, the second and third. And basically you're gonna play that pattern uh, twice over. So it'll sound like this. And then you can just play over top, try and make it sound a little cleaner in, than that. Something like that. Then you move up the D string to your fourth fret, same deal. And then back down to the uh, fifth. Also remember you're switching between these strings. So on, you're gonna mute the D string here, but when this pointer moves to the D string, you're trying to mute this one, your fifth string. So that's why this finger needs to lay across because you're uh, trying to mute the fourth and the fifth. So lay that uh, finger across. So I think he plays it over twice, but like I said before, if you have any questions on like how many times to play these things, just watch the video. You know the shapes, you can figure it out. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'm trying my very best to make these uh, as simple as possible. I got this display here showing you what uh, chords to play, uh, chords and, uh, and shapes. I hope it's not too confusing. Um, if it is, just let me know and uh, subscribe.